Okay, so my name's Rowan Parks. I have the huge privilege of being president of the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh. And today we're holding the final of our surgical skills competition for medical students. Something we've been doing for over a decade. It's evolved, it's developed, it's grown, it's bigger than ever. And we started with over 1,300 applicants across the UK wanting to get involved, which is exciting. That's people interested in doing surgery as a career. So they have, through a series of uh, skill tests in their local area and eats, um, risen to represent, and we've one representative from every single medical school. By lunchtime, you'll all be relaxed. You'll have seen a bit of the museum and some of the history of the college, but you'll be doing things that we do almost every day, and it is great fun. So enjoy the morning, and uh, we look forward to seeing you later. And we'll see which of the medical schools comes up the rankings, but no pressure. <laughs> Just have fun. Just have a lot of fun. I'm Enya Costin. I'm a year four medical student at Brighton and Sussex Medical School. I entered the competition um, to see what I could do to push myself and to learn some new skills. My name's Andre. I'm from Warwick Medical School. You know, when I was picking my first medical book, I didn't even know I was going to uh, medical school at that point. Uh, I was just trying my best to learn as much as I can. Um, but yeah, it's definitely culture shock coming here to Edinburgh compared to where I'm from, Warwick, uh, Coventry. Um, a lot more castles, a lot, a lot more things to see here in Edinburgh. Uh, and I really enjoy myself yesterday. I try to get an early flight, try to roam around uh, Edinburgh. And even this morning before coming to competition at about 5.30 a.m., I went up to uh, Arthur's Seat, which was a very nice hike. Uh, get to see the sun, sunrise, which was um, very worth it. Hi, my name's Claire Donnelly and I'm the Regional Sales Manager from Medtronic and we are the sponsors of the Surgical Skills Competition. The Royal College of Surgeons uh, Skills Competition is the perfect opportunity for medical students to really test to see if a surgical career path is the way they want to go down. We've sponsored this event for the past 12 years and we've always been really impressed with the students' dedication and their professionalism throughout the competition. It's great to see the variety of stations that the medical students take part in and it's great to see the Medtronic technology being used. So my name's Agana, I'm from St George's in London. Usually you won't have this kind of opportunity to network with students from all over the country. Um, I definitely don't go to some of these other areas, um, so I think it's been really nice to network with other students who've got similar interests. Um, and just kind of connecting with them on socials as well and, and just finding out what they do outside of medicine as well. Um, so I think it's been a really nice kind of environment to meet other students as well, which sometimes you don't always get being a medical student, so it's been a really good opportunity for that. So I'm Harvey, I'm a medical student from the University of Sunderland, so didn't come too far up on the train. Um, I have to confess I was here last year for the competition, so that made me want to apply again and come up for this lovely weekend in Edinburgh and have some good fun at the competition. As I was growing up I was always quite academic, so I was kind of aiming towards maybe medicine, maybe dentistry, maybe engineering, and then I think when I was applying for A-levels, my mum had just had a hip replacement. She's had three hip replacements and she's just in her early 50s now, which is quite unusual. And it turned out that was because she has a rare bone disorder called osteogenesis imperfecta. So that's what's driven me to want to do medicine and also driving my plans for my career in future as well. I'm just really interested in orthopaedics. So I'm Adeline, I'm from the University of Nottingham. Oh, I was a bit nervous, because they didn't tell us what was going to be on it before. Um, so I was sitting in bed going over the last bits of anatomy, which I didn't even need in the end. Um, but excited, and rightfully so. I was happy with my performance. I mean, I don't know how good everyone else was. Um, 
I wasn't very good at the fixation. If anything, that let me down. Um, but not too bad. The competition itself has, I, I've just finished it. It's incredible. Um, I was so nervous before going in, but as soon as I got in and saw some of the stations, I just relaxed and enjoyed and learned new things, which I loved. I think I, think I did all right. Um, definitely didn't bring my A game uh, in the beginning parts, but halfway through, I just told myself, I'm here to enjoy myself, learn new skills. Uh, and I did learn a lot of skills, especially the orthopedic ones. Uh, those were, never touched those before. But again, the consultants there were, were happy to guide. And I think I'm going back with definitely more knowledge and definitely made more friends today. And they do this every year. I tried it the first time, maybe two years ago. Didn't make it past the first round. Uh, but yeah, if you don't take your shot, you never know whether you end up in Edinburgh or not. I would say definitely do it. Um, it's such a fun experience. I've met so many amazing people in like the past two days. and. It's just like amazing and it's amazing to be in Edinburgh. I think I've made it like a little holiday <laughs> for the weekend I've been here. Um, but I would say like you learn so much, you meet so many people and it's just such a fun experience. The orthopaedic stations today, we had a couple of them, we got to play with bits of kit to put an X fix together. Um, and that's just really fun. I love all the drills and uh, screws and everything to do with that. and. One of the other stations was to do a modified Kessler suture, which used to repair a tendon. I think, I guess with my background, it's helped me a little bit in knowing and have done these things before on various courses. Um, but yeah, it's good fun. Each of you became the lead and the representative of your medical school. So in third place, with a 150 pound Amazon voucher and a certificate, is Matthew Howe from Keele University. Congratulations. I'm Matthew, I'm from uh, Keele Uni. I'm a fourth year medical student and I've come third today at the Surgical Skills Conference. I think the funnest one was probably the, uh, the laparoscopic skills. That was quite challenging with the little pillows and the sugar cubes. Um, but I think the one that I found actually most difficult was the operation game. In second place, with a £200 Amazon voucher is Poppy Fletcher from Plymouth. Well done, Poppy. Um, My name is Poppy Fletcher. I go to Plymouth University and I'm in fifth year, final year, and I came second in the, the surgical skills competition. It was really exciting, um, really enjoyable. There was lots of different stations and skills. Um, testing my nerve and um, testing my knowledge, which was really interesting. So, 1,300 students later, 43 finalists. Who's going to win another certificate and an even bigger cup <laughs> for 2025? The medical student, surgical skills winner, Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> was, is... Laura Saunders from Queen's University, Belfast. Yeah. 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 Hey. Well done. Fantastic. Wow. So, hello, my name is Laura Saunders. Um, I'm from Queen's University, Belfast. I'm a final year medical student. Um, and I've just won the competition today. My key highlights are getting to know people around here and people in the competition. I've made some really cool friends and um, helped me out actually before the competition and it's really nice to have that team before you're going in and during um, despite it being a competition there's such camaraderie um, and friendship which is nice to take out of this do it yeah just go and do it um, you're nothing to lose and all to win I suppose